So I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through this surgery here. The first thing I'm doing, I'm just reflecting a flap, basically incision from contact to contact and just raising a small flap really. Um, back in the posterior area, you don't have to be that worried about uh, doing papilla sparing or, or anything like that um, because it's not aesthetic. But back here, what I'm, what I'm using right now is a round bird just to flatten things out because it was sort of irregular and I want to make sure that I have a flat surface to, to do my prep on. Moving on to this little pilot drill here and I uh, have my assistant irrigating for me. I'm just basically taking all the drills to depth. Uh, you do want to make sure that you confirm it with an x-ray though. Uh, so I'm going to put this parallel pin in and if that looks like I'm, I'm on the right track then you keep going but otherwise uh, wait and, and re-prep with the pilot drills. So now I'm just going to finish this guy up with the bigger implant drills and that's it. So I'm using an implant club implant for this guy right here. Super excited to release our implants. Man, it's making me nervous just watching it on the screen. All right, so we're putting it, uh, you put it in with your fingers, right? It's got the little, this little thumb grip um, and you just kind of use that to go all the way down as much as you can. Uh, I didn't take it all the way down because it kind of maxes out. Um, once it's like three fourths of the way in, I uh, pop that guy off, it's just a little transfer and take it the rest of the way with my little hand, hand driver. Using a little cover screw on this one, I'm gonna cover this one up under the gums. And I'm gonna suture. I basically suture this pretty quick with some interrupteds. When David Wong was here, man, he like takes his time suturing this, making sure to put as many sutures as he needs to. I guess that's the difference between going from good to great, that guy's a beast, and he gets really great outcomes. So um, when you're grafting and stuff like that, definitely pay more attention to suturing.